Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome back to my channel. And let's just get right into it. Today is a video all about these guys, all about my nails. It is my minimalist nail care routine. So before we get into this step-by-step, -step, I wanna be honest with you all. I don't take care of my nails until they're at their breaking point. And I mean that literally. I have to have a nail that is completely broken, beyond repair, and it's only then that I go in and do this nail care routine. My nails are super, super strong, so they actually don't break very often, which means that this nail care routine is something that I do only from time to time. I also much prefer having long nails, as I'm sure you could have guessed just by the length of these bad boys. I love it. There's something like so feminine about it to me and I really, really love having long nails. So if I can, I will keep them like this for as long as humanly possible. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the step-by-step, -step, super simple routine. And then after that, I'm gonna chat a little bit as to why I don't wear nail polish, if that is of interest to any of you. So stay tuned if this all sounds good and let's get into step one. Step one, I call the old soak and scrub. So I will just get a bowl of warm, not hot water, just warm water and start to soak my hands. If I just had a shower, I could skip this step, but it's still kind of nice. It's like a little treat to your hands. So I will soak my hands just to make sure they're all nice, soft and supple. So I will leave my hands in there for a few minutes. And then after that, I will go in and do a scrub. Part of my minimalist mentality is using things that you already have in a different way. So if I'm looking for an exfoliant for my hands, I have no problem going in with a sugar scrub and I also very frequently use coffee grinds. In this instance, I had coffee grinds readily available, so I used those and did a good job to make sure that there was no dead skin left on my hands and just get like blood circulating to your hands and nail area is also a really great thing. So my hands and nails are already looking pretty good. They've been soaked, they're soft, they've been exfoliated. And now we are moving on to the first nail specific tool and that is a cuticle remover. This is actually a recent addition to my minimalist nail care routine and I absolutely love it. There's a bunch of different ways to remove your cuticles, but this one I find the easiest. You just put a little bit of pressure down by where your cuticle is and you just glide it along the nail and it completely removes your cuticles. It's so amazing. I absolutely love this tool and I think it makes a really big difference in the final look of my manicured nails. See, no cuticles. It just makes my nail beds look actually elongated because it makes the nail bed look even longer than it is. And it also just makes the nail look really polished without having to do too much. So I love this little cuticle remover tool. It is again, like I said, a new addition, but not one that I will be taking away from my very minimal nail care routine anytime soon. The next tool that I would go in with is my nail clipper, <laughs> my hands. <laughs> My hands are like so moist. This is like slipping out of my hand. So I clearly did a good job on my manicure. But anyways, the next tool that I would go in with is my nail clipper. And the first thing that I would do is actually go underneath this nail clipper. I think like 99% of nail clippers have this. It's a little file with a small, you know, little pointed end. And I would use this small pointed end and go in and clean out the dirt under my nails. I know that sounds gross, but it is just a fact. When you have nails this long, dirt is going to get under them. So I regularly clean out the dirt under my nails and this small tool attached to the clippers is just the perfect and easiest way to clear out that dirt. So now that the nails have no obvious debris in them, they are clean and clear and under control. I actually go in with the clippers themselves and I will make any cuts to my nail that I need to. So you'll see in the clips that I keep my nails nice and long here. 
but this would actually be the time where I would have that one nail that broke off so badly and I would have to go in and cut them all down to size. Luckily though, my nails were looking pretty good. I didn't have too many areas to cut down. There was just one nail that was much longer than the other. It was my right thumbnail, so I decided to give that one a little chop and other than that, we were good to go. So putting the nail clipper down, which of course was also that dirt remover as well, we are picking up our next tool, arguably the most important in my opinion. If I were to just have one nail tool, this would be it. And it is simply just a nail file. Now this is not any nail file. Well, it is, it's like from the drugstore. But this is the one that doesn't get dull. It's the metal version. I so much prefer these to the regular ones. You know what I mean, those long, thin ones that are like sanding paper. Oh, those are awful and they get dull really easily. I don't like them at all. This is one that withstands the test of time and I would highly suggest you know, spending the extra buck or two to get the metal version. So no matter what I do, whether I cut my nails or not, my nails always need a file. There are always some sharp edges popping out all over the place, or one nail is growing longer than the other. The file is where it's at, and it's where I spend most of my time in my minimalist nail care routine. I also want to ensure that there are no areas along the sides of my nail that can rip, so I go in and you know just gently round out those corners and just make sure the nails all have a very similar shape and a very similar length. I am a different person when I have like a snagged nail. It will drive me so bonkers and I will stay there and fiddle with it until I get my hands on a nail file. So I am someone who relies heavily on this tool and yeah, of course, it's just a nail file, but I absolutely love it and it is so necessary in my tiny little routine I have going here for me. So now the rough edges are gone, we've evened out the length of my nails and this is actually the point in time where I put the tools down. Now it's the hand and nail spa time and we are gonna treat these little puppies like they matter because they do. So the first step, into making these glow and shine is just a simple moisturizer. And again, as a minimalist, do I have a specific hand cream? No, absolutely not. But I do have a fantastic body cream. It's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. If you're interested, I will link it below. And it is more than sufficient to moisturize my hands. This one has hyaluronic acid. It's fragrance free. It's a gel cream, which I much prefer to like a regular cream. And it's also for sensitive and dry skin. And it says it instantly quenches for clinically proven supple hydrated skin. And do my hands deserve anything less? No, that sounds amazing to me and it truly is so, so, so good. So I use this all over my body. I actually use it as my face moisturizer as well. I could sing its praises till the cows come home, but this is a nail video, so I want to stay on topic. But anyways, the first step is lotion and giving your hands a good massage and ensuring that that blood is getting circulated. Now we are moving on to the next step and I have a little bit of a story with it. So a lot of times I see at nail salons a beautiful cuticle oil being used and as wonderful as that sounds, I hate oil. <laughs> like I just, I don't like the feeling of it on my hair, on my skin, on my nails. Like I don't like oil. It makes me feel so greasy and it's so gross to me. And I know that that is not everyone's story, but it definitely is mine. So the next best thing in my opinion is Vaseline. And I actually use Vaseline as my lip moisturizer. So again, this is not a product that I am going out and buying specifically for my cuticles. It's something I already have in my collection. So I just go in with a small dollop of Vaseline to each and every finger right at that cuticle point. And then I'll go in and just gently massage the area and make sure that those cuticles are completely covered in a nice little layer of Vaseline. I don't know if this really does anything, but it makes me feel, I don't know, like I've taken an extra step 
in my self-care and I really actually like the way it looks, that glittering, glistening shine right on your nail bed and I'll even take the Vaseline onto the nail to give them a little bit of a sparkle. It's just a nice touch, I find. So if I'm being honest, 99% of the time, this is where I end. This is where I stop, but like I said, we are going extra today. I am showing you the entire minimalist nail care routine, and I just can't get through this video without talking about some extra special spa items that I use from time to time on my nails and hands. Number one is this Nourished Magnesium Cream. My friends, <laughs> I am nearing 30, okay? I have some body parts that aren't working like they're supposed to, and I have found out through a lot of yoga that I have a weak left wrist. And it was actually doctor recommended for me to put some magnesium cream on it. So while I'm paying such special attention to my hands, from time to time, I will pick up this cream and just pop it on my wrist. And not only do I feel like I'm treating that area and treating this very minor injury, but it also smells amazing because this product, this nourished magnesium cream, has lavender in it as well. All right, so now that my old lady wrist has been taken care of, my hands are looking fantastic. But there is one last step that I'll take, like I mentioned, if I'm feeling extra fancy. And it's spa time. So I'm going to go in with my sage rollers. These are some essential oil blends, and not only do they smell so good, but they're also supposed to help with a variety of issues. The two that I have are Peppermint Halo, which is meant to help with headaches, and then the other one I have is Stress Relief, which, if you didn't guess it, is meant to help you with stress. So I'm feeling it today. I am going to put them both on and I just run a line right across my wrist on the inside. And yeah, that scent stays on my skin for a few hours and just makes me happy every single time I smell it. And I'm putting these essential oils on a lot more for like the soft and soothing and calming scent than what they're supposed to do, like tackle headaches and stress. But either way, again, it just makes me feel like I have taken a little extra care of myself and it feels oh so good. So my friends, I told you it was minimal. That is it. That is my entire minimalist nail care routine. And this is what they end up looking like. Pretty cute. I think they turned out really nice. There we go. Little jazz hands, never hurt anybody. And yeah, that's my nail care routine. And like I said, now we've come to the part of the video where I discuss nail polish and why I don't wear it. So part of the reason is I think I have pretty nice nails. I'm not trying to, you know, pump my tires or anything like that, but I think I have nice nails. They're really long, they're very strong. Um, my nail beds have a nice curve to them and they don't break easily. So in general, I think it's easier for someone like me to not need any nail polishes, any hardeners, any strengtheners, anything like that to keep my nail health nice and strong. But beyond that, I have a little bit of a story. Um, I was in a job for many, many years where I wasn't allowed to wear nail polish and I felt like this defiance, like I wanted to defy that. So every opportunity I could, every weekend I could spare, I was painting my nails and taking it off like the day after. So fast forward a few years, I'm out of this job, I'm painting my nails like semi-regularly. I start to kind of feel that I just don't want to anymore. So it was starting to be something I was begrudgingly doing and then you would paint them and in two days they're chipped or some of the gel is starting to fall off and then you have to redo that one nail. It just was a mess and I did not really love it that much at all. So I ended up getting rid of my entire nail collection, all my nail polishes, all that sort of stuff. I even had additional tools that I wasn't using that I got rid of as well and I embraced the natural nail life. Now this, I understand, is not for everyone. I see girls with painted nails and I was like, oh, those look amazing on you. They look so fantastic. But just for me, in this phase of my life, I am not only too lazy to go through the process of getting these done, I do not have it in the budget to go to a salon, and I am looking to embrace my natural nails. 
So if you are someone who is painting your nails because you think you have to, like I was, or society was telling you to, like I thought, let this be the video to remind you that you can do whatever you want. You don't need to have painted nails to look polished and put together. You just don't. So if you don't wanna paint your nails, don't paint your nails, you don't have to. I'm giving you permission right now. If you wanna have your nails colored multicolor and a rainbow, you do you. If you have a dedicated section of your budget that you really enjoy going to the salon and that is a good value for you, then go for it. But for me, it's the no polish life. It's this simple, minimalist nail care routine with only three tools and a bunch of lotions, creams, and otherwise that I already had on hand. So my friends, that is it. That is the minimalist nail care routine. That is my blab about why I don't wear nail polish. And I had a ton of fun filming this video and I hope you had fun watching it as well. So if you did like this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you like me, if you like my content in general, then definitely consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. And thank you for spending a small part of your day here with me on my channel. And I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. All right, everyone. Bye for now. Bye.